I think my mother's family really influenced me. My, they were a family of makers. My, her father was a hobbyist woodworker. So he was always working with um, the lathe and then caning chairs and he taught me how to cane chairs and always had something going with his hands. And I've always enjoyed that kind of work. And then my grandmother was this incredible seamstress. So I was really influenced by her and my mother was um, very artistic in the kitchen, quite the accomplished baker and cook and I don't know, just they were all working with their hands and I think that really influenced me as a child and uh, my father also drew on occasion, not very often, but um, you know, enough that it influenced me I think. Hard parts about being an artist are, you know, you will not probably survive on your art alone, that you will have other jobs, um, that it takes a huge amount of dedication and time to really develop as an artist. So um, it's not something that you can just, you know, kind of come at hit and miss. You really kind of have to pour yourself into it. My name is Paula McCarty. I'm a resident of Champaign, and I'm an oil painter, sometimes acrylic painter. And I also teach art classes in the community at Springer Cultural Center, Parkland Community Ed, and um, I'm a hospitality instructor as well. So, <laughs> Jane of all trades. <laughs> I think it's just all the exposure that I received from faculty at Parkland when I was there. That really shaped me to kind of be a researcher of artists and um, in doing that, you know, this passion develops just over time. I mean, I'm an avid art junkie and I really fetishize good painting and always looking at different artists. Um, I go up to Chicago frequently, I go to the Art Expo every fall you know, try to get up to galleries once in a while, and it's just, um, I don't know, I guess that shapes, I mean, it just kind of feeds my passion. I, I really love good painting, and I'm just really passionate about it. I didn't seriously start making art until much later, like probably in my 20s, um, but as a young child, my mother signed me up for an oil painting class at the age of 12. I didn't stick with that very long. I, I was too intimidated and really didn't understand, you know, anything about that at that time. But um, in the Sunday comics, they used to have these little pictures like, could you draw the pirate or could you draw the donkey? So I was always drawing as a child. And then um, another thing we did when we were children that was uh, kind of architectural, I guess, is we would rake leaves and we would rake them into like blueprints of houses and then we would play house in them and um, at a young age I really wanted to be an architect I think and I think um, then I wanted to be a clothing designer you know as I got a little older and I really wanted to do that for a long time and then I went into industrial design at the U of I after Parkland didn't really care for that so much because they were designing like microwaves and TVs and it wasn't really what I wanted to do and ended up back in the painting program. <laughs> so I don't know, there's always been some kind of artistic bent as a designer or a painter, you know, um, along the path, it seems like. But I started classes at Parkland in the early 90s and kind of fell in love with oil paint then. They didn't offer acrylic painting. You know, it was just oil or pastels. And I prefer oil because it's, um, but I work in acrylic. This one's in acrylic, for example. So I kind of bounce back and forth because most of the painters that I teach work in acrylic. Personally, I prefer oil. Um, you know, it's like, oil's like kind of moving around butter and acrylic is kind of uh, like moving around plastic that dries really quickly. So it's a whole different way of handling the medium. Um, even though, with that said, Sometimes I look at work that I've done in the past and I can't tell whether it's acrylic or oil. I, they, I treat them so I, um, much identical, it's like it's really hard for me to identify what medium I used.
Uh, my subject matter is just kind of um, autobiographical. And lately I've been inspired by interior scenes. So I've been looking, thinking about like uh, painters like Bonnard and Matisse a lot and wanting to do this whole series of work based on my window overlooking the park here. And so I'm into that right now. And that kind of determines the size. I want these to be mid size. So 36 by 40, 30 by 30, that kind of um, size. Just so you can kind of get um, a better scope of the size of the interior. You know, I don't want to do really small, small pieces with this, but the portraits that I, that's another series I'm working on, is a series of women painters, dead women painters, but just kind of paying homage to, you know, the women painters, that historical lineage. So I initially started um, doing these on my phone, two inches by four inches, but those I hope to take to a larger scale and do real portraits from and hopefully exhibit them as, um, you know, the small phone drawings that are printed out on eight and a half by 11, along with some real portraits. I hope to have an exhibition on those someday. So, um, and those will be like standard portraiture size, you know, like, I don't know, nine by 12, uh, 16 by 20 probably. And as far as when a piece is done, um, I don't know how to explain that. It's just you just kind of are satisfied with everything that's up there and there's nothing more that you can change that you think would improve it. It's just, you just kind of know. Um, with that said though, I could call a piece done and then look at it five years later and look at it and things are just driving me crazy about it and I kind of want to go in and change things again. So, uh, but it's just kind of an overall satisfaction at the time. Where I'm just like, okay, this one's done. Sometimes I employ like a wet into wet technique. It's where you're working with oil where the paint hasn't dried and you kind of just um, keep working the paint and colors kind of um, mix together in this wet into wet technique. So, and that's kind of a more speedy way of painting for me. So, some of my Paintings might look like I, they were painted rather quickly, which they were. Others may look more measured. Um, if I'm working with acrylic, uh, you know, it's kind of a slower process. But I, they all seem to have, you know, my signature on them somehow. And so they're colorful. I employ like kind of short, direct uh, brush strokes often. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, they could be in any genre though. You know, I, I enjoy portraiture, still life, and landscape. So, um, yeah, I think it's through the intensity of my brush stroke more than anything. The way I apply the paint is how you would recognize my paintings. Typical art day, I better get started early. <laughs> or I won't get, I don't know, I run out of steam later in the day. So um, if I'm gonna really accomplish something, I need to get started early with few distractions. Uh, that could be distractions in the way of um, other job obligations or just the weather. You know, I, I'm an avid swimmer, so I always like, want to go over to lap swim, and sometimes I just got to say no to that and, you know, hunker down here. But um, so definitely getting an early start and uh, just staying with it for, you know, a good four hours. I have a very direct approach to my painting. I don't do any underpainting at all. I know a lot of painters start with like a toned background. I just start with a white canvas and I start drawing on it with paint. And that's, it's a very direct approach. Um, so, and how long it takes, that depends. I mean, sometimes if I have like a six hour session and I kind of really know where I'm going with a piece, it could be done in one setting. That seems to be, um, more a thing of the past with me. Seems like I take more and more time to finish paintings these days. So it could be drawn out because like, you know, I may only have a few hours a day. It could be drawn out over the course of two weeks. But I'm a pretty fast painter, you know. So total, total time on a, a painting might be, um, gosh, I don't know. It could even go up to like 20 hours, I suppose. I don't know, that, that's really, I don't really know the answer to that because I never really added the hours up, you know. Um, depends on how much I'm struggling with it. I'm really drawn to textiles and, um, you know, the scarf. 
I just put that over the window, the rug. I mean, all those patterns were kind of speaking to me that they wanted to be in some kind of still life. So I would say um, definitely pattern and color are what kind of motivated this. And then I started the series and I'm like, oh, I could, there's so many possibilities here with this window. So I'm gonna keep going with that for a while. But um, yeah, I would say color and, and textiles really inspire me. The work is pretty descriptive. Um, the titles are pretty descriptive. Like this one's called Blue Scarf or they're, the one behind you is called Breeze. You know, it's like, they're generally pretty descriptive of what's going on with the painting. My series of women artists, they're just titled with their names. You know, I have um, portraits of Joan Brown or Agnes Martin. That's it's just titled, titled that. <laughs>